The Merrimack women's basketball program surprised just about everyone this season. A team with four freshmen and four sophomores that won just five games a year ago was picked to miss the playoffs for a third straight season. But the Warriors started 8-2 and en route to grabbing the 10th seed in the Northeast 10 Conference Tournament. But Merrimack didn't stop there, upsetting Pace and Stonehill in the Conference Tournament before falling to Assumption in the NE10 semifinals. We put ourselves in the conversation with other good teams in the conference. The whole season was like a highlight reel, but so you can't really pinpoint one time, but it all started with the Franklin Pierce game. That one just felt good in here. You know, we stormed that court and we knew that we were going to win a lot more after that. For our team to go out and win against a good team right off the bat, I think that instilled a lot of confidence in, in our team and in our season. Highlight of the season was definitely the Stonehill upset. Making it to the semifinals and beating Stonehill, the number 11 team in the nation. This is going to sound weird, but I think the highlight of the season was the first game. It was rewarding to see our team really seem to be playing with a lot of confidence and hitting on all cylinders down the stretch. No team works as hard as the women's basketball program on the court or in the classroom. After ranking 12th in all of Division II women's basketball last season in grade point average, the Warriors posted the second highest GPA among women's programs at Merrimack in the fall while remaining very active in the community. Our academic success is very parallel with the way Coach, uh, coach treats us on the court. Uh, she wants perfection and she wants perfection in the classroom as well. Academics is the number one reason that they're here. Coach really emphasizes being good at whatever we do. You know, we work as hard as we can in the classroom to get the grades that we can. As a member of the women's basketball team, we just want to always be setting high standards and that's not just on the court, that extends into all walks of life, into community service, into the classroom. Merrimack's 12 win improvement is the largest turnaround among all Division II women's basketball programs this season. Already looking forward to next fall after a 17-12 final record, the Warriors will lose just three graduated seniors and will return nine lettermen, led by Chloe Rothman, Ashley Weissman, and Shelby Secor. Uh, I'm, I, I can't wait for next season. Oh, I'm pumped. I mean, I'm ready to put that jersey right back on. Next season I see big things. Um, we came a long way from when Coach Blanc first came in, um, just in two seasons, turning it around, having a winning season. So next year, um, I expect huge things um, in the NA 10 championship. <laughs> that was our goal last year, too, and that will be our goal every year that I'm coaching here at Merrimack. That will be our goal. The bus is still going. We're still here. The women's basketball program has a rich history at Merrimack, with the Warriors reaching the NCAA Final Four in 2004 and 2005. Under the leadership of Coach LeBlanc, Merrimack has its women's basketball program back on track after a successful rebuilding program in just two short seasons.